and throws the line here one more time. Yeah. Yo. Woo. Amir behind the bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. James Harden's nephew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quit traveling, quit traveling. <laughs> Speaking of nephew, is that your nephew's hat? Or is your head just that big? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Everybody clapping over there doing your set. Like the white guys at church just fucking everyone's running out. <laughs> Y'all couldn't get that shit together. Oh, Kyle was talking about Elizabeth Warren. I think I'm 256 times as Native American. You know what her uh, native name is? It's uh, Chief Running Bull. Oh, shit. When Elizabeth Warren rain dances, droughts happen. <laughs> I'll give it for Kevin, my neighbor growing up. <laughs> Woo! I love you, Mom. <laughs> if the prostitutes in the shadow sounds to put him to sleep, Kevin, you know, all that. <laughs> <laughs> she gave it away to Fritz. <laughs> Holy shit, she's gonna beat the hell out of me for that joke. <laughs> You think the term hell froze over? It came from a snow day in Bayonne? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see the monkey bars up there in the jungle gym? It's like park before a course for the subway rats at night. Where's the guy with the beer? I almost took a sip of this guy's beer. I've never had a sip of beer in my whole life, not one. I swear to God. Oh my God. Well, mostly because I'm allergic. <laughs> but I was like tempted. I was like, oh shit, everyone's drinking. Then after like looking around, I might have to resuscitate me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. Better not. Oh, I'm like Mariano Rivera, but it's more like a Joe Chamberlain performance. I think. <laughs> uh, Nick was talking about sucking his own dick. More. <laughs> More. <laughs> 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 That's all I talked about. So. <laughs> <laughs> I went to high school with this uh, kid that actually suck his own dick. <laughs> no joke. I, just, I don't know if that's the qualification. <laughs> all right, it's cool. Shit. All right, let's get to some jokes. Someone gave me, I've got a bunch of weird compliments in my life, but the other day, this uh, girl, she's like, you know, you're kind of like a, like a taller, like maybe Joe Rogan and Gary B. <laughs> but like with more hair <laughs> and at first I was like holy shit thank you because if I was a fraction of either of them I'd be pretty happy with myself but then I was like that's a little fucked up like <laughs> taking on them for being solidly challenged <laughs> just because they're not as tall as me I was like that's kind of fucked up right and then I realized the most fucked up part about us was her comparing them to me <laughs> <laughs> Like, how bad of a day were they having on that day? <laughs> you know, you're like, this guy. <laughs> oh, when I was growing up, I found out that there was going to be a WNBA. I was like, oh, cool, they're finally going to let the white guys play. <laughs> you know what's some bullshit? When you go out with a gal from Bumble, and she don't have the like, cute teddy bear ears, uh, like punky Brewster freckles. <laughs> I still not ran out with a girl that got orbiting stars and no floating hearts. Mm. It's all bullshit. Did you ever just thank someone? Just like leave it at that. <laughs> like walk up to the fella, like, oh man, thank you man, I appreciate you, good looking out. And walk the fuck off. <laughs> 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 yeah, like the like that. But like after a few seconds, like, oh yeah, no, that's me. Yeah, I got you, God, this is me. I think on dating apps, there should be like a, hey, is your friend single direction? How do I get to that fine bitch? <laughs> get your old scrappy ass out of the place. Did you ever get your signals crossed? You know, like caught up in between the handshake, fist bump shit. You know what I mean? Get to look you know that white people shit? That <laughs> brothers never had that problem. Right? 
Like, bro, let's keep that shit out there until they get on the same page. They're like, ah, oh, there it is. Uh, what's up, man? Come out. White people just get all. Hayden Panettiere nicknamed me Mr. Blue Eyes and once called me a handsome drink of water. Don't know what the fuck she meant, but I'll take it. <laughs> That's part of the reason why I grew a beard. I was tired of getting treated like a piece of meat. <laughs> For somebody completely lacking in, Nick Cannon sure hosts a lot of talent competitions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is this? Uh, those who can't do host? All right, that's enough. <laughs>